This business we're gonna have to kill you. Yeah, I'm gonna make you an offer you can. It's not a joke. It's it's basically killing a person for money. You're up. You're, yeah, you're hiring Planned Parenthood as a hitman to kill your child. That's a crime. So if you can't take care of the baby, how about how about you just put it up for adoption? And have you seen how you get drugs? All right, ladies, let me show you how a condom. Anybody got a condom in a package here? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. All right. Uh, we know how it works, sir. Some of us are biology majors. Here's how a condom really works. I'm a major, and I know how it works. It doesn't go on the man. It sucks. A woman takes the condom and she puts it in the package right between her knees. Oh, I know her. And you hold that condom between your knees. She won't get pregnant. Ladies, Hello? keep your legs closed and say no to fornication and you won't get pregnant and you won't even be considering an abortion. You ladies don't understand how much power you have. Power in the word no. And how much power do you not do that in the first place? So, uh, Ma'am, but here's another no, thing. But let me tell you, you y'all right do not much know much the meaning of no. So if they're much weaker, shouldn't they be the Women are stronger in that area. Shit, yeah. some of y'all here know. To y'all, that mean go. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry. You gay too? I'm straight. Or cross your legs. What the fuck? Cross your legs. Women have the power to say no. What are your pronouns? Yes, they do. But generally, <laughs> men are the ones going, come on, baby, I love you, baby. Will you give me some of that shit? That's the one saying all that. Come on, baby. Show me how much you love me. I, you know I love you. That's what men say, and they beg, they plead, they, they, they try to manipulate. You ladies know I'm right. It's exactly how men are. They're a bunch of horn dogs. You men are more whores than most of these women. Come on, you are. You're a whore. You are a whore. That's what the Bible calls that. So women should stop being whoremongers and have a little bit more respect for women. You should have more respect for women. And don't treat women like a piece of meat. Okay? They're not. You should be more concerned with what's in a woman's heart and what's in her pants. You should. Then show it by keeping your pants up. Keep your pants up. Marry her if you want to have sex with her. Commit. Make a commitment. Real men make commitments. They commit to their jobs. They commit to their families. They commit to their education. And they commit to women. Real men make commitments. They put a ring on their finger before they put a penis in there. Yeah, I know. It's a woman too. And a woman should say, no, until I get a wedding ring, you ain't getting none of this. That's what a woman should say. Because if you should, if you don't have that much self-respect for yourself, how do you expect men to have that kind of respect? Careful, don't look at my butt. If you're out there giving away like some free ice cream truck, why should you buy the ice cream truck and get the ice cream for free? Where are you sitting? I thought you had your ice cream. I'm talking about women. They have the power to say no. Don't have sex until he puts a ring on that finger and you get married. Have some self-respect. And you men have some respect for women by stopping having sex with women and trying to control them and manipulate them. Just so you can get laid. Come on. I used to be a sinner in college. I know. I don't think that's true. Who's accepted me? Everybody in the same room. I don't stop being a sinner. It was the same. It was all the same back in the 70s. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's all the same. You need to have more respect for women. You need to have more respect for yourself. Don't sleep around. Fornication is a bad thing. And I guarantee you, it messes with your mind. And then you're like, oh, I, I, I slept with him, and now I'm pregnant. And then he's run off. He's run off. He don't want to pay child support. He's trying to pay you for an abortion. He wants to get rid of it because he don't want to pay child support. That's how much he really loves you. You know, oh baby, I really love you until you get pregnant and then suddenly he's gone. That's how much he loves you. If he loved you, he would marry you. You're maintaining things. There you go. 
So if you're vaccinated, why are you wearing that mask? I just just want to. I'm not like. Are you? Are you? Oh, I'm 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 I